வெல்கம் ஐ ஆம் ஜெயமேரி ஃப்ரம் ஃபிசிக்கல் சயின்ஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் இன் சப்ஜெக்ட் ஜென்டர் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் சொசைட்டி மை செமினார் டாபிக் இஸ் சோஷியல் குரூப் ஸ்னாப்ஸ் இஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டெஃபினேஷன் சோஷியல் குரூப் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சோஷியல் குரூப் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சோஷியல் குரூப் கன்க்ளூஷன் அண்ட் ரெஃபரன்ஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் சோஷியல் குரூப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் கம்ப்ரைஸ் எ பேசிக் பார்ட் ஆஃப் விர்ச்சுவலி எவ்ரி அரினா ஆஃப் மாடர்ன் லைஃப் சோஷியல் குரூப்ஸ் ஆர் டைப்பிக்கலி ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் பர்சிவ் காமன் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் பர்சன்ஸ் ஃபார்மிங் எ குரூப் யூஷுவலி ஷேர் ஒன் ஆர் மோர் மியூச்சுவல் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் அண்ட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் தே கன்வென் டு ரியலைஸ் சிமிலர் கோல்ஸ் குரூப்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி ஸ்டார்ட் டெவலப் அண்ட் ப்ராக்ரஸ் பிட்வீன் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஷேர் காமன் கோல்ஸ் டெஃபினேஷன் when two or more individuals come together and influence one another they may be called a social group said by william og bond social group is a group of two or more persons who are in a state of interaction with one another said by mayer nimkov then now see you know what we see about social group no man normally lives alone man does not live in isolation for a long time he is basically a social creature the great greek philosopher aristotle said long back that man is a social animal he further remarked that he who does not live in society is either a beast or an angel now we discuss about types of social group different socialists have classified social groups in different ways the chief base of this classification is function scope and stability following are the important classification of social group first author dwight sanderson's classification he classified social group as involuntary group voluntary group and delegate group involuntary groups are those which are based on blood relation or kinship family is an involuntary group voluntary group means members group the membership of which depends upon the sweet will of the individuals the membership is not compulsory rather than voluntary cricket association is an example of voluntary group delegate groups means which a man joins as a representative or a member of people elected rather than by them or nominated by some authority the bangladesh desh parliament and the state legislative assembly are the bright examples of delegative groups then second author ferdinand tony's classification he classified social group as gymnas craft or community and jesselus craft or society then community group means whose relationship is characterized by close intimate personalities mutual trust and cooperation family is an example of this community group then next social society group in this group which is characterized by competition self interest efficiency progress and specialization of relationship the bureaucratic cooperation is the ideal example of the society group then efforts giddings classified social group into four types they are genetic group congregate group disjunctive group and overlapping group genetic group means a family in which a man is born involuntarily congregate group is the voluntary group into which an individual moves or in which he joins voluntarily distinctive group which does not allow a person to be a member of other group at the same time a college or a nation is the bright example of distinctive group overlapping group is one who members may belong for another groups at the same time the indian sociological association or art or is a sociological association is an example of overlapping then george hazen's classification he classified into four types and social group pseudo social group and is social group and pro social group and social group is one which does not mix up with other groups and remains aloof from the pseudo social group is a mad group which participates in the larger social life mainly for its own gain not for the gain of society and is social group which acts against the interest of society a group of vaga bonds that is try public property is an example of anti social group similarly a political party that plan to overthrow a popular government is an anti social group pro social group is opposite of anti social group it works for the larger interest of society it doesn't aim the constructive works for the welfare of society then miller's classification 
horizontal group and vertical group horizontal group consists mainly our members from one social class a group of doctors engineers teachers electricians etc is some of the examples of horizontal group vertical group is a larger group consisting of larger number of people such as nation religious organization caste groups political parties and so on then charles classification voluntary group involuntary group permanent group and temporary group voluntary group is one which a person joins according to his own wish involuntary group means which is based on blood relationships his family kinship tribe clan etc permanent group means type of group which the relationship among the members continues for a longer period temporary group is just the opposite of permanent group then park and burgers classification he classified into two types territory group and non territory group territorial group is one which has its own definite territory the village city state nation etc examples of territory group non territory group means which does not possess any territory of its own a trade union or a kisan union is a non territory group gillian and gilly giffins classification he classified on the basis of blood relation on the basis of bodily characteristic on the basis of physical proximity on the basis of cultural derived interest ch school is classification he classified social groups as primary group and secondary group primary group whose relation is direct intimate and personal secondary group whose relation is indirect less in initial impersonal and formal then w g summers classification he classified as two types in group and out group in group to which individual belongs out group to which individual does not belong then importance of social group the study of human society is essentially the study of human groups society consists of groups of innumerable kinds and variety no man exists without a society and no society exists without groups groups have become a part and parcel of our life out of necessity and inevitability human beings are made to live in groups conclusion groups are a key building block of social life but can also have negative consequences primary groups are generally small and include intimate relationships while secondary groups are larger and more important.